Hey girl, I'm getting both of them done for today. Um, so I can go out into the snow. Um, that being said, uh, there's a part of me that's like really excited to like firm it up. Um, but as I'm also the one that is like driving to like classes. Um, <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, let's go ahead and get into it today. Um, and like always folks that are tuning in, if there are like certain things that you're like, I want hips, I want shoulders, um, you know, just go ahead and let me know. Um, this is a series that I do for my dear friend Jane, um, who is a traveling speech pathologist and working in hospitals, frontline worker stuff. That's where all this stuff came from in the pandemic. Um, and so I've been doing these videos for her for, we're in the middle of our third year now of it, which is wild. So um, that being said, um, if you find that these are a benefit to you and it is something that you can economically do, um, please be encouraged to give. There will be links um, and um, Venmos and things like that listed below. Um, would love, um, the support and if it's something that you cannot contribute completely understand that as well but like I used to say canvassing for the rape assistance and awareness program a buck for luck goes a long way um, so just keep that in mind y'all um, that being said let's go ahead and get into the luck of this draw today so grinding down through your seat actually today everybody if you're into it Let's go ahead and let's do some like big pillow props. So if you got pillows around in your room and your space, go ahead and grab them. I'm a big pillow fan. Um, and so I keep a lot of them around and in spaces um, so people can sit and so we can do this work a little bit differently. So um, a lot of times when it gets colder out um, up here in the Northern, and western side of the world um, it is important because we're always like this to make sure that your heart stays open in the winter and um, that you don't close yourself off so take your blanket or, or your pillows and stuff and then go ahead and just lay yourself down and over the top of them you can lay out through your legs you literally can just lay here for like 30 minutes and call this your yoga class and that's exactly what we're gonna do I'm just kidding um, but we could so um, I can do a long video like that would just lead you guys through meditation and something that's like propped like this so again let me know okay head drops back heavy heart and chest is open and just allow yourself to breathe here nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale through your mouth Again, big inhale through the nose. Then exhale through the mouth. Allow yourself just to keep breathing. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. So always starting off our classes regardless of the position that we are in from a space of gratitude that's applicable both on and off the mat right so we give gratitude for the universe just recognizing an energy that's bigger than us that we're still collectively a part of we give gratitude for this earth she reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity we have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than gratitude to the indigenous peoples of these lands so always naming the tribe of the space that you are laying on by name so here in Billings it's the Northern Cheyenne and the Crow the Salish and the Blackfoot tribes and the Lakota and always reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first step in us coming into the right relationship and doing the right thing it goes back word and then deep nice deep inhale And exhale. 
take out to this practice of yoga it reminds us that we as human beings are innately good we are kind and honest generous and just and give gratitude to black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice in the space of ahimsa also known as nonviolent or loving action gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage, recognizing our and their trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations, and transgressions, and holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done in order to build a peaceful and loving world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places, that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today, you can draw them into your mind's eye. Remember, I can always be you, and maybe you picture them or yourself as like a little kid. Take a nice deep inhale and breathe them down into your heart center. And then on your exhale, send them up. Take your hands up and above your head and let your heart and chest expand a little bit more, opening up through your armpits. And then when you're ready, you can kind of slowly just kind of rock your head back and forth side to side. And then slowly, we're not going to try to pull ourselves up so we come up and like kind of strain on our neck. So instead, we're just going to roll ourselves over and off of our pillows and onto our sides, coming into a fetal position. And then you're going to extend through your top leg to come out of fetal and press into your palms and then press yourself all the way back up and into a simple seat. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Two more big breaths here. Big inhale. And exhale. Last one. Big inhale. And exhale. And slowly just kind of tick tock your neck back and forth, side to side. And maybe tilt your chin high and then tilt your chin low. Roll your shoulder blades down and back a few times. Roll your shoulder blades forward a few times. Then inhale, arms are going to come high. Identify your right arm from your left arm and sweep it underneath and bring your arms or hands into eagle arms and press. Pull your elbows out and away from you as you squeeze and then slowly just kind of round into yourself tuck your chin in towards your chest pull up and in on your low belly and try to pull your forearms kind of down towards the tops of your ankles keep your low belly pulled in to support your low back and then slowly lift yourself all the way back up and then do a little baby back bend here. Your chin can kind of rest right in your bicep. And then exhale, slowly release. Inhale, arms come high. Same thing on that second side. Identify your left arm from your right arm. Sweep it underneath. Hands come into prayer. Squeeze your palms. Big inhale here. Exhale, pull in on your low belly as you tilt in towards yourself. Squeeze every joint, right, in your wrists, hands, your elbows. Check in with your shoulders. Be mindful here. And then on the next inhale, squeeze the palms, engage your low belly, and lift. Come into a little baby back bend here. Again, your chin can kind of hit, hit that bicep. And then exhale, slowly release. Arms come nice and wide. Give yourself a nice big hug. Tilt your chin down towards your chest and you can kind of shake it out a little bit. And then inhale, arms come wide again. And then exhale, arms come back around. Give yourself a nice little hug. Big inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Bring yourself all the way forward. And we'll do a little bit of bird dog stuff. So cat cow really quickly, just to floss out through the spine, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, pull up and in. Again, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, pull it up and in. Inhale, bring yourself back to your center line. 
extend your right leg to the end of the mat and then left hand reaches and pull your right foot up and off the mat. Big inhale here. Exhale, squeeze at your center line. Elbow and knee come together to touch and then inhale, send it back. Exhale, squeeze. Let's go for four, for three, for two, and one. Squeeze, hand and knee come down to your mat. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Inhale back into your table. Same thing on that opposite side. Ground down through your left palm, press out through your left heel, and take your foot up off the mat. And then extend through your right arm. Big inhale here. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. For four, three, two, and one. Hand and knee come down to the mat. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Tuck the toes and send the hips back and high, down dog. Press into your palms, pedal out through your heels. Big inhale, let your head hang super heavy. And then slowly walk your hands back towards your feet at the back of the mat. Let yourself hang heavy here. Let your head be super heavy. You're gonna take your right hand underneath your face. Put a big bend in your right knee. And then you're gonna pull your left hip up to the sky as you take your left hand high here. Big inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Exhale, bring it back down through center. Same thing on the opposite side, ground and plant. Opposite hand reaches high to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Then exhale, release. Let yourself hang heavy. And then inhale, hands move up the front part of the feet and shins. Exhale down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, sweep yourself all the way up to stand. Exhale, tent the arms. I'm just gonna check our time, okay. Inhale, I'm sweep high. And then exhale, step your right foot forward, find your balance, and then tilt your heart and chest down and over the top of your thigh, drop down through your hips so you're not crushing into the top of that right hip. So left hip drops. Right, and you're still trying to keep your upper body nice and buoyant. You can always take your hands to blocks or to a couch or an ottoman. Then inhale, sweep it back. Right foot steps back. Inhale, arms high. And then step your left foot out in front of you. Same thing again. Ground down. You can keep a little mini bend in that front knee and then tip yourself down and over the top of your thigh. Nice deep inhale here. Flex through the foot. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly pull yourself all the way back up. Step your foot back. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, tent. Close it up. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, float down and over the tops of the thighs, and then inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, palms plant. Walk yourself out into your bear pose. Big inhale here, right knee, right elbow. Send it back and high. Take it to the left, swing it to the right, and step it back. Let's do that again. Left knee, left elbow. Send it back and high. Pull it into the right. <sighs> Pendulum, swing it to the left, and step it back. Right knee, right elbow, back and high. Pull right knee to left elbow. Pendle, swing it to the right. Step it back into your bear last time on this side. Left knee, left elbow. Send it back and high. Take it to the right. Swing it through the midline and step it back. Drop down to the knees. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. And then cross your ankles and bring yourself down and onto your seat. Extend your little right leg long, and then sole of that left foot to the inside of your thigh. Turn towards your straight leg, inhale, arms high, exhale. Bring yourself down and over the top of the thigh, flex your toes in towards your face, and think about releasing through the bottom side of your right glute. 
right where your hamstring and glute would come to meet. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Pull your low belly up and in. One more big breath, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk your hands back up. Rock back on your seat, swap out your feet. Turn towards your straight leg. Take your arms high to the sky and then bring yourself down and over. Pull up and in on your low belly as you keep pulling the crown of the head towards the top of the foot. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale, last one, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk your hands back up your shins. Take your two feet out in front of you, flex your toes in towards your face, and then inhale, arms come high. And then exhale, let yourself fall down and over the tops of the thighs. Pull the crown of the head towards the top of the feet. Release through your glutes. And slowly walk your hands back towards you. Scoot your seat forward. Bring yourself all the way down and onto your back. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Shift back and forth side to side. And then extend the soles of the feet high to the sky. Flex the toes in towards the face. And then slowly with control, lower the heels all the way down to the end of the mat. Heels hit the mat, toes flop out to the side. One hand can heart, rest on heart, one hand can rest on belly. They can be down to your sides. Maybe pop your heart and chest up and roll your shoulder blades underneath your back as you tuck your chin in towards your chest. And allow yourself just to breathe here. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Allow yourself just to stay with your breath here. And a little meditation that is about getting better at saying no. And again, everybody, this is from the Stay Woke book, A Meditation Guide for the Rest of Us by Justin Michael Williams. I'll put all the information down in the caption below in terms of where you can buy and purchase. How many times have you said yes to someone and immediately felt regret afterwards? Yes, I'll listen to talk about your some damn problems over and over. Yes, I'll meet you for coffee so you can pick my brain, even though you should be paying me for it. Yes, I'll go on a date with you, even though I don't even really like you. Every time you say yes, when you really want to say no, you contaminate your relationships with resentment. The feeling that the other person is forcing you to do something when in fact you're the one with the poorest boundaries. It seems counterintuitive at first, but saying no protects your relationships because you'll avoid growing on underlying seeds of resentment for all the times you've said yes and didn't mean it. So give yourself permission to say no. Give yourself permission to say, let me think about it and get back to you. Saying yes when you don't mean it is an assault on your intuition and it will only ruin all of your relationships. So use this practice anytime um, you're having trouble saying no. Place your hands over your heart and take five deep breaths. Last one. 
and say to yourself, I don't have to be afraid. I'm allowed to say no. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in each of you, collectively in all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me today and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls. And when you do choose to leave your mats, um, be sure to go in peace and remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, everyone. I always recommend staying in your meditation Shavasana for a few minutes after the video ends in order for you just to be with yourself in your own breath. Um, but that choice is always up to you. And I will see you all when I see you. Peace and love.